Hello everyone, this is Snehal and we are going to talk about Othello. Othello starts with the backdrop of Othello and Desdemona getting married while Iago and Rodrigo are standing outside the house of Brabantio, one of the senators and the father of Desdemona and they are calling out to him in the middle of the night. They are telling him that, are you asleep? Are you like seriously, are you asleep? Your daughter has just run away. Have you, do you have any idea even? So Brabantio, he comes out and he's very angry at these people who are creating a ruckus outside his house in the night and he's like, what the hell are you doing? I'm going to get you, you know, into the jail or something. So they tell him this thing that your daughter has run away. He's shocked. He goes into his house, checks it out and he understands that actually this has happened. Now the first reaction that Brabantio gives out is that the more she ran away with Othello, I think it is witchcraft. So, the idea of witchcraft is very important in the story, but we will discuss it further. So, he goes on to confront Othello, who is already been called to the Senate House by the Duke, because there has been apparently, uh, there is going to be a war in Cyprus, the Turks are going to attack. So, he has to go there, he's a high commanding officer. Urbanshio, on the other hand, is asking for justice from the Duke and the other senators of what has happened to him. So the senators ask him that for what? Justice for what? And he tells him, tells them that this, this, this has happened and Othello has apparently done some witchcraft on my daughter because why would a fair lady like my Desdemona ever fall in love with a black guy like this Moor, Othello? So Othello denies this idea altogether. He tells them that it is not witchcraft but storytelling by which Desdemona has fallen in love with him. He tells them that Brabantio used to himself call Othello on a daily basis, on a regular basis actually, to his house to tell the story of his own life. So when Othello used to tell the story of his life, his childhood, the pity, the you know, uh, grief of his life and the adventure of his life as well, all of these together uh, affected Desdemona a lot. She used to weep for Othello, she used to feel really you know, sad for him, pity him. And through this pity, there grew the love, the affection between them. And that is a very organic kind of a love that grew up. It was not something which was created to the use of witchcraft. Prabhanshu is definitely angry and he doesn't want to accept this. But then Desdemona comes in and she agrees with it. And even the way uh, you know, Othello tells the story, everyone is convinced that yeah, it has been through you know storytelling, not witchcraft. So at the end, the thing is that the Duke do need Othello because he's one of the most powerful people out there. He, they need him to, uh, you know, protect their place, their Venice. So they accept this whole uh, apology, this whole uh, explanation and they ask Othello to take Desdemona away. So while going away, Brabantio is very angry with Desdemona. He tells Othello that uh, she has... Uh, been faithless to her father she has been disloyal to her father and so she will be to you how do you think that she is going to be loyal to you if she could not be loyal to her own father and the scene ends so after this scene what happens is that Iago is planning to derail the life of Othello and Desdemona so he uses Cassio as a pawn to do this and obviously Rodrigo as a pawn to do this. Rodrigo all the while thinks that uh, Iago is going to help him secure Desdemona for himself. He apparently is in love with Desdemona. So he se uh, sends... Uh, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Iago is a very manipulative person. He has some thing against Othello but we do not really know what. Iago at the beginning has told uh, Rodrigo and in that uh, condition us as well that it is because Othello he first does not like him, he's a moor and secondly Othello has given precedence to Cassio and made him his lieutenant instead of Iago who was the more deserving person. So this is the reason why he's angry at Othello. This is what he has told Rodrigo in the beginning. On the other hand, once Rodrigo comes, goes out of the scene and everyone is out, he gives a soliloquy in which he confesses that uh, it is actually because he has this doubt in his mind that Othello has slept with his wife, who is Emilia, 
and that is why he hates uh, this person so much othello so much but then again he says that i'm not really sure if this has happened anyway i'll bring him down so in the various parts of the story the drama iago gives various reasons as to why he is going to you know destroy othello but none of the these reasons actually seem to make much sense so what happens next is iago plans with rodrigo to frame cassio as the lover of desdemona and then iago goes to othello and sows this uh, seed of doubt in the mind of othello he tells her him that uh, don't you think these two people are a little too close you know don't you think it's like a little you know sus so basically othello has this thing in his mind has this idea in his mind that is desdemona cheating on me but he's almost certain that no she is such a fair lady she's such a gentle woman how could she do that what happens next is that as Rod- iago and rodrigo have planned iago gets uh, cassio drunk and then rodrigo calls on for a you know fight which happens then and uh, in his drunken state Rod- uh, cassio fights with rodrigo so a lot of people get into the fight they try to stop the fight which ends up hurting some of them and othello when he sees, sees this rumble this you know stupidity going on he gets really really angry at cassio and he takes away the cassio's position he dismisses cassio now cassio after this feels really guilty at what has happened he's really repentant he's really sad and he wants to get into the good graces of othello again he loves othello a lot so he wants to do something to get his position back to get the love of othello back here iago again plays the devil's advocate he comes in again and like a machiavel you know machiavelli villain he comes in and he says to uh, you know he, he says to what is his name cassio yeah <laughs> he says to cassio that uh, you know the best thing to do is to go to desdemona and plead you know ask her to help you out because again othello has just gotten married and he would never say no to his wife so go and ask her to help you now this person cassio again falls into this uh, idea because he's very desperate to get into the good graces again so he asks desdemona to you know help him and desdemona on the other hand is very happy more than happy actually to help cassio see she says that uh, oh yeah i'll do this for you anything for you because she wants uh, othello to be happy again she wants cassio to be happy again and she does know in in her heart that uh, cassio and othello they care a lot for each other their friendship has been very strong and she's like okay i'll do it she very openly says that i'll be persistent and this persistence is something which helps iago make this doubt even more uh, solid in the mind of othello so while cassio goes away he comes to desdemona again and again to ask her to help him and she at every time she's with othello she's going to be persuasive to othello that oh please bring in cassio you know when are you going to talk to him when are you going to give him back the place he had do you want to take a, you know have a dinner with him etc so she's very persuasive she she's very persistent in her efforts this again as iago is bowing the seeds sowing the seeds of doubt in the mind of uh, othello this makes it even more uh, apparent to in the eyes of othello that oh she think i think she has something going on with uh, this man called cassio otherwise why would she be so persistent so this is what happened at the beginning now the thing is why does uh, othello get uh, so easily entrapped in this idea because they just got married it's a love marriage they married they flee, flee a flood fled away they fled away so why is othello so easily entrapped in this you know web of lies the first thing is definitely the proximity that cassio and desdemona are in the second thing is that iago brings into the mind of cassio what brabantio had said earlier that if this woman could not be loyal to her father how could she be loyal to you the third thing is that uh, there is this idea that women cannot be loyal in the minds of men and in that age so that again creates this whole uh, ruckus in the mind of othello but the most important thing for me i think is the difference the class difference the racial difference that is between desdemona and othello see othello is not just a more not just a racial uh, inferior in their words to desdemona but also inferior in class definitely he is the lieutenant of the place sorry the head of the whole uh, war 
But the thing is that Desdemona is the senator's daughter. So she is much more powerful in that term, in her social standing. So in every way, and the race is definitely the most important thing. Race is also very important. So in every way, Othello, in somewhere in, in the heart of his heart, he knows that he is not good enough for Desdemona. And only pity cannot be the reason why their uh, relationship would go on and on. So he somewhere he has a, is in inferiority in himself because he again says it again and again that he's an outsider, that he's this person who does not belong here, that he has uh, achieved his place through you know working hard etc. So he has this in the back of his mind that why would a woman like this be in love with me and for how long? So all of these things together contribute to this you know idea that Desdemona might be cheating. Now this idea is even strengthened by Iago's constant manipulations and the way he makes people act time after time. So while this is happening the second best thing uh, Iago does is that he misplaces a handkerchief which uh, Othello had given to Desdemona it is a sign of their love to them and he misplaces this handkerchief and puts it in the tent of Cassio. Now this is a very great step. This is a very important part of the play because this is where the doubts which are in the mind of uh, Othello become very strong, strong enough for him to hate Desdemona and be ready to kill her. So he puts this hanky away and puts it in, plants it in the uh, tent of Cassio and when Cassio gives this handkerchief to his uh, mistress Bianca and when she returns it back Othello sees this scene and next thing what Iago does is he makes Cassio say things about you know talk about Bianca but not take her name so while he is talking about Bianca Othello thinks he is talking about Desdemona which makes him mad with fury and there he returns back he even slaps Desdemona he waits for some time, he tries to cool his anger but then everything goes out of his hand and while Iago makes uh, Rodrigo again attack Cassio once again to kill him, Othello goes back to kill Desdemona and he kills her on the very bed they were to consummate their marriage on. So Desdemona dies there and uh, Cassio does not die, he is saved and Iago is caught because Emilia just spills the bean. She does not really know that it was Iago who has done this. But through telling Othello that the hanky was only gone because of her, because she stole the hanky and gave it to Iago, her husband, Othello comes to the conclusion, everyone gets to know the, the reason why he had the hanky and why this whole thing came. But why did Iago do this again? Iago says that do not ask me anything I am not going to tell you anything you know what you know so basically he does not even come up with an answer he does not want to come up with an answer many critics say that this is because he has no answer there is no reason why he does it it is just he likes to see people suffer he likes to see people in pain so he's kind of uh, the character uh, like the joker you know of Batman so he just likes seeing people in pain likes to see the world burn basically there is no other reason why he does it. Some people say he's evil. So he does it for just the sake of evil. Some people say that he has some, uh, you know, benefits that are coming in the ways. For example, Rodrigo gives him a lot of uh, money and gems and ornaments, etc. Which he keeps with him. And that is why he slays Rodrigo as well. So there might be the reason of monetary gains. But at the end, it is he does these things for the sake of these things. So, Emilia tells everyone the truth and in the anger of this whole thing, Iago uh, stabs Emilia, Emilia dies and Desdemona is already dead. Othello slashes his own throat because he's so full of guilt for what he has done and all of these people die in the end. This is the plot of Othello. Mm -hmm.